Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Frank from Frankenstein Bushcraft. Saturday, May 19th. Um, it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just going into the woods. There's a convenience store up there where I got my coffee at. And I'm trekking back about three miles. And um, I'm going to do a solo overnighter. They're calling for some thunderstorms tonight. It's going to be heavy rains at times. So it ought to be pretty good. Hopefully this video comes out decent. I got the phone in a plastic baggie here so it don't get too wet. But I, I think you guys can see it's pretty flooded. This is just a little stream. I'm going that way. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get back with you when I find out where I'm gonna camp and see what I can see what I'm gonna come up with for a shelter. All right, I got some tarps with me and stuff like that. And, See what I can figure out to stay out of this weather tonight. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Um, it's about 1:15. I almost forgot to start filming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I found this nice little spot tucked up underneath these trees. No widow makers around or nothing. So I ran a, a ridge line from up there across to that over there I'm gonna put this tarp up here and make a little area down in here so uh, yeah I'll show you when I'm done but that's pretty much where it's gonna be it should be pretty well out of the out of the weather out of the storms and all so uh, yeah I'll, sh I'll show you once I get a little bit more set up maybe I can take you out of this plastic Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back. It's uh, 146. So I got shelter done. Like I said, I'm tucked underneath of those, whatever those trees are that bend like that. Um, pretty good. I think it's going to be a pretty good spot out of the weather. And it's pretty big under there. <laughs> I'll take you around the other side and show you. But yeah, I got plenty of room in there. I can't stand up in there, unfortunately, but the weather called for some heavy-duty thunderstorms tonight, and I don't want my shelter to blow away, so I'm trying to keep it kind of low. And the way it is, it might even be a little bit too high, but whatever, we'll see. I can stand in there a little bit, but I just can't stand up straight. But yeah, here it is. Check it out. Yeah, I ran a ridge mine up here, and then I got I'm tied off with a combination of trees and stakes and <laughs> homemade stakes, of course, because you know me, Mr. Cheap. But uh, so far it seems like it's dry. I got this old tarp here, and I'm gonna use a couple Dollar Tree. Um, let me come back out of here. Dollar Tree shower curtain, shower curtains. You know, one dollar deals. I like using them better than the cheapo tarps they have because they're uh, they're more water resistant. But they work. They make a decent ground sheet. So I'm gonna put that down on top of the blue tarp, and then um, on top of that, I'm gonna use a couple of those windshield reflector things. They're they're a little bit insulated, and they're reflective as well, so they reflect your body heat back. They're not bad. They're definitely better than laying on the ground by itself. And I'm going to try to build up some kind of bed, but everything is wet. Right now I'm going to try to get some firewood and then I'll worry about the bed part. I don't plan on sleeping too much tonight anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you in a little bit. Thanks. What's up, y'all? It's 2.06. Uh, still looking for firewood. It's pretty wet out here, as you can see. The, the everything's flooded. I mean, where I'm up on pretty high ground, I I don't think I'll have any problem up there. But but yeah, all this lower area is underwater. <laughs> as, I'm, as you can see, I'm in pretty thick, pretty thick area, about as thick as it gets where where I'm at right now in this area I'm in right now. My shelter's over there. So it's pretty uh pretty on the down low but um but yeah I'm trying to get some firewood so uh, 
I'll talk back at you in a little bit. This is one of the paths in. <laughs> As you can see, it isn't very used anymore. So, uh, yeah, I don't, even when it's not raining, people don't come back here that much. So I don't see anybody coming back here tonight. It's kind of a stealth mission. But, uh, yeah, so I'll get back in a little bit. What's up, y'all? I'm still out here uh, picking up, picking firewood because everything is so wet. I set up my little cooking grates and I got the little pieces, the dry stuff I can find stacked on there to let it dry out. And I put some branches and a big vine there that I'm using to uh, dry the rest of this stuff out. It's only about 2.30, so I still got a good four hours, four or five hours to let this stuff dry out. But yeah, I've got my little pencil lead thick stuff here and then a little bit bigger and then the bigger stuff and I'll get the bigger fuel after I get this taken care of I'm gonna put another hour or so into into um, tinder <laughs> and kindling because it's gonna be hard to get it going and keep it going out here it's gonna be hard to get a good you know bed of coals going but once I got that I'm set so yeah you just got to take the time to do it right so I'll get back to you in a little bit Yeah, before I sign off, I wanted to show you the whole reason I started <laughs> filming and I forgot. But yeah, I wanted to show you one of the ways you can tell. Listen, you hear it snap, clean snap like that, that, that lets you know it's it's uh, as dry as it's going to be out here. <laughs> but yeah, yep. if there's any resistance, then you know it's got some moisture in it or it's still green. And uh... You want to overweight that stuff if you can. All right, I'll talk to you in a little bit. What's up, y'all? It's 3:44. Raining pretty good out there. <laughs> I'm dry in here, but I don't have nearly enough wood yet. Not even close. I went for a very developed root system in here and vine system in here rather and these roots are to these vines and I didn't want to damage them so I walked about a mile and got all these bricks <laughs> and brought them back and I'm gonna build some kind of a fire platform to uh, to protect these roots and uh, while I was going it started downpouring so <coughs> I'm a uh, waiting it out for a minute or two to see if I can if it'll give me a break so I can go get more wood if not I'm gonna have to just go out there and get it because <laughs> it ain't getting any earlier like I said it's like quarter to four now but um so far I'm dry in here I'm doing very well so uh yeah I'll get back in a little bit been using this stuff because I have a reaction to um, DEET. Every time I use DEET I end up with welts all over me. Itchy welts, rash, whatever. It goes away in four or five days but it's irritating. But I mean I was always at a point where I'd, I'd rather have the rash than Lyme disease or Zika or West Nile or all the other crap that they carry now. All these insects. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, this stuff seems to be working pretty well. I don't get a rash, and I uh, haven't found any ticks on me at all since I started using it, which was about two weeks ago. So uh, the active ingredient in it is picardin, 
P-I-C-A-R-I-D-I-N, Pickerdin. I think that's how you pronounce it. Stuff works for me, though. All right, well, I don't want to kill my battery. And I have issues downloading sometimes when I go too long. I don't know what, maybe it's just my phone. I got the uh, Apple iPhone 5S. I don't know, that's the first smartphone I ever had, but I don't know if that's what it is or what the deal is. But, but yeah, so I keep I try to keep my videos somewhat short. But um, yeah. <laughs> so I'll get back to you again in a little bit. I'm gonna have to go get more wood anyway. What's up, y'all? It's 4:20 in the afternoon. It's um, still raining, but it is starting to ease up a little bit. So I'm getting ready to head back out. It's um, to get more firewood. It's 62 degrees right now. It's supposed to continue to rise by midnight. It's supposed to top out about 69. So um, being cold or hypothermic should not be an issue tonight. It won't be. It definitely won't. Even if I'm soaking wet, I got wool and I got micro you know spandex stuff <laughs> micro polyester spandex clothing you know the stretchy stuff that holds in your heat I got some of that on too so uh, yeah I'm good to go but uh, yeah it's still raining got more wood but I still got to go get more So yeah, I will get back to you as soon as I get more wood and get settled in here and try to get a fire going, or not try to get a fire, but get a fire going. Still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to go um, with the with my uh, ferro rod and try to get some natural tinder or if I'm going to go with some little fire starter, five minute fire starter things I got at Dollar Tree. So um, yeah, I don't know. I, may, I might just go with them just to because everything's so wet and I, I know where I can get some birch bark but it's probably a two mile walk and I, honestly at this point it's getting later in the day it's going to get dark I still need more firewood so I doubt that I'm going to take that walk but um yeah we'll see I, I'm going to get more firewood now and I'll get back to you I'm still getting firewood. I actually um, had to cut some of the shrub, the weeds and stuff back because um, everything is so wet that I was like drenched, like soaking wet. So I had to cut a bunch of stuff down. That was one thing I always carry with me, which not a lot of guys can talk about. Good pair of pruning shears pocket size <laughs> they're like one of the best things you can have with you you can use them to uh, you know cut up your firewood but you can also use them to clear your path or make a new path blaze a path so I would recommend carrying them whenever possible part of my EDC Yeah, I left some stuff because I don't want to give the trail away or encourage people to walk back here with the ticks and all the way they are. A lot of people see this overgrown like this and uh, turn around and go the other way. And that's what I would prefer. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm going I'm to get some more wood and... Uh, <laughs> 
and then um, I'll get back to you. I'll make some char cloth, a couple other things I had planned to do, just something to pass the time. There was somebody who was fishing up here. Yeah, there was somebody who was fishing up here and they left a bunch of their trash. But they left some hooks. A couple decent ones. I don't know if you can see that. There's a hook in the pack there. Eagle claw. And then there's this big boy. And they also left some mine. And a fish head. I don't know what they were... I guess they're fishing for catfish. There's a few fish tails too. Yeah, um, there's some big fish, big fish in this river. All right, well I got to go get this wood before it gets dark. I'm about to cook my dinner. I, I brought some uh, spicy sausages. I'm gonna cook up. Hopefully, it'll be pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, 4.58, still looking for firewood. As you can see, that's pretty wet. That one end snapped, but pretty wet. But I, I know where there's some that's better than that anyway. I don't know, it ain't dry, but it's <laughs> nothing back here is dry now. But there's stuff that's dry-ish. That wasn't it. This looks promising. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is pretty dry. Yep. All right, cool. let up a little bit but it's so damn flooded back here I doubt anybody's coming back here tonight my plan is I'm gonna go back to where I got the bricks from and get some more get the last of them I think there's about I don't know six or eight left <clears throat> and um, maybe not that many but yeah, I'm going to get the rest of them, and there's a bunch of wood that's back there that I've been throwing under a tree for the last few days under a couple of, um, what do you call it, a couple of uh, beech trees. I'm <laughs> having a brain freeze here. Yeah, a couple of beech trees <coughs> that have been pretty <coughs> dry underneath of. So I've been throwing the wood under there every day on my walk home from work. <coughs> it's about a mile. Man, th quarter, three quarters of a mile from my campsite. So I'm going to go grab these bricks and I'm going to grab some of that wood that's there. And this will be my last trip out of my little area until, until tomorrow morning. But yeah, I'm going to get me some wood and then maybe if I have to, I'll look around over there where I'm at for a little bit more. But there's nothing over there that's going to be as dry as what I got over here. Although I did find a decent tree, dead tree, a little in the area, a little, not right in the, right where I'm camping, but a lot closer to where I'm going now. It was a down tree that was dry, dry, like almost like it ain't been raining dry, which was pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I'll get back to you in a few. Got hooked on my hat. <laughs> <laughs> on a branch, pulled my hat off my head. And there's poison ivy everywhere. And I get it very, very badly when I get it, so I'm trying to steer clear of that while I'm back here, too. 
fun, fun, fun. This part of the trail I didn't clear out. <laughs> you guys might have seen this spot in my video where I cleaned up. I am so wet right now. <laughs> I got to change of clothes though back at my spot. So, you know, to sleep in. So hopefully I hang these up. Hopefully they'll dry a little bit by morning. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll see if I, if I got to wear my home damp. It's all good. It is what it is. It's worth it <laughs> to be out here. All right, well, let me put this phone away before I get it wet. But uh, yeah, I'll get back to you in a little bit. I still got a long way to go. <laughs> and it's raining out here. Hey, what's up y'all, it's 636. Still, <laughs> still getting wood, but I made a little fire pit. It's a Dakota style. I dug it out underneath of that hub that I found. And all, I found that where I found all these bricks. And uh, yeah, I dug it out and oh, it. did a tunnel behind it there. So hopefully the smoke will go out there. We're out of the shelter and I can keep this in here with a small fire and keep me keep me uh, warm and dry me out tonight, hopefully. And I can cook my dinner. I, I don't really need the warmth so much as I do uh, just for the for cooking and you know, it's nice to have it at night, and it'll dry me out for sure, because I'm drenched. I'm coming out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm drenched, as you can see. <laughs> so, but I'm loving it anyway. I don't even care, you know. That's why I'm out here. To get down and dirty. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that that thing's going to do the job. I'm right on the edge of the, right on the edge of the tarp. So, with a small fire... Hopefully my smoke will go out. The wind's supposed to be coming that direct, blowing that direction. So uh, hopefully I'm good to go. All right, I gotta keep on going for my never-ending hunt for firewood because it's few and far between. I'm probably traveling four miles just looking for dry wood and the stuff that I'm finding ain't very dry either, but hopefully it'll keep me going. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Next time I see you, I'll be starting the fire. I think I'm going to do it with just using those fire starter things, five-minute fire starters, just because uh, the, the poplar bark I was going to put in my pocket didn't work out. It was, it was way too wet, and I don't have time. There's no way I can dry it out here, <laughs> not in the amount of time that I have. And I've been out here longer today than I usually am. Today I was out here at noon. Normally I can't get away from my girl until three four o'clock <laughs> but today I, I got out here early you know she asked me why I do this why do you what do you get out of it what do you why do you do it I don't understand why you go out there in the rain and the snow and all of that and because I like it <laughs> so yeah I'll, I'll see you guys in a few so I'm getting ready to settle into my campsite now. And I'm changing all my wet clothes and stuff. And I'm not gonna bring you guys in for that. <laughs> but I wanted to talk to you about these boots. These are Sears Craftsman work boots. I bought two pairs. It was buy one, get one for a dollar. <laughs> so it was like 70 bucks for two pairs of boots. Yeah, good deal, you think? All right, well, <laughs> the first pair was a black pair, regular work boots. I wore them to work for less than two months and I already split stitching in them and damn near ripped the bottom of the sole off of the right boot. Now these boots, they claim to be waterproof. I don't know if you can see that or not. You probably can't because it's kind of dark. 
but whatever, they claim to be waterproof. But if they're waterproof, then how's my right foot wet? <laughs> it's just these little things that irritate me. You know, I understand they're not Timberlands, they're not $80 boots, but I mean $180 boots, but at the same time, they are $70 boots. They cost me, you know, that's $70 to me is a decent amount of money. <laughs> And they claim to be waterproof, and they are not. And I wasn't walking through water, I was walking through wet grass. A little, you know, a little bit of water here and there, I might have stepped in in puddles, but nothing, no deeper than that. And these, if they were waterproof, it wouldn't have been an issue. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just putting that out there, thanks. Sorry, sorry for ranting and raving.